I would like to express our gratitude and appreciation to the government of Romania, to the ITU Secretary General and the ITU Secretariat for the, all the efforts put into the organization of such a wonderful conference. Despite decades of efforts put in the ICT sector development, the COVID pandemic has revealed a wide digital divide across geographical and social strata worldwide. Four out of the 10 people in the world still have no access to the internet. Moreover, those who are connected often lack the quality that would allow them to use the Internet's most powerful features. As a member of ITU since 1992, Azerbaijan has long been working on developing the ICT sector in the country, strengthening cooperation with ITU, as well as actively participating in activity of the Council. Azerbaijan 2030, National Priorities for Social Economic Development, outlines the country's vision for the creative and innovative society. We believe this vision can only be achieved through digital transformation. We have adapted and currently developing a number of government programs aimed at accelerating digital transformation. We continue investing in the country's broadband infrastructure. Our aim is to ensure accessibility and affordability as well as full home broadband internet coverage by 2024. On a regional level, Azerbaijan initiated the Trans-Caspian Fiber Optic Project to construct a fiber optic cable line across the bottom of the Caspian Sea among Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, and Turkmenistan. This initiative will create opportunities for the emergence of digital services in the countries of the South Caucasus, Middle East, Central Asia, and Southeast Asia. These projects are of high importance to us, and we have pooled our resources together and built synergies in order to bring the power of ICT to all nations and to all segments of society. It is in the same spirit that Azerbaijan puts forward its candidacy once again for the membership of ITU Council for the next term. We look forward to helping the ITU to promote and strengthen multilateral collaboration and application of ICT to address the challenges. We also present the candidacy of Ms. Sahiba Hasanova to be re-elected for the membership in the Radio Regulation Board. We therefore call for your support and vote for both of our candidacies during the forthcoming elections. In closing, I would like to express my sincere wishes for the success of this three-week plenipotentiary conference, and I would like also to invite you all the, to the coffee break hosted by Azerbaijan right after this session. Thank you very much for your attention.